Hello. Welcome to the fifth section, Mastering Discretionary Access Control. In this section, we will look at changing the ownership of files and directories, setting permissions on files and directories, using SUID and SGID settings, and finally, we will be protecting sensitive files. Now we move on to the first video of this section, changing ownership of files and directories. In this video, we're going to take a look at process of changing ownership of files and directories by using chown. Controlling access to files and directories really just boils down to ensuring that the proper users own files and directories, and that each file and directory has permissions set in such a way that only authorised users can access them. The chown utility covers the first part of this equation. One unique thing about chown is that you must have pseudo privileges to use it, even if you're working with your own files in your own directory. You can use it to change the user of a file or directory, the group that's associated with a file or directory, or both at the same time. First, let's say that I have a file named permdemo.txt file, and I want to change both the user and group association to that of another user. In this case, I'll change the file ownership from me, that is test, to Maggie using this line of code. If we check the file ownership now, we get to see Maggie's name. Here, the first Maggie in Maggie, Maggie, is the user to whom you want to grant ownership. The second Maggie, after the colon, represents the group with which you want the file to be associated, and it is followed by the file name. Since I was changing both the user and group to Maggie, I could have left off the second Maggie, with the first Maggie followed by a colon. Now to just change the group association without changing the user, I just need to list the group name, preceded by a colon. So first I add the group accounting, and then list the group name preceded by a colon. If we check the file now, we get to see that the group has changed. Finally, to just change the user without changing the group, I just list the username without the trailing colon. When I check it, the user has been changed. These commands work the same way on a directory as they do on a file. But, if you want to also change the ownership and or the group association of the contents of a directory, while also making the change on the directory itself, use the hyphen R option, which stands for recursive. First, let me create a directory perm demo dir. Here it already exists. Since I'm using a directory, ld is being used. Next, I check the number of files present in the directory. Now, I just change the group for the perm demo dir directory to accounting. If we check it, the group for the directory has been changed to accounting. If we check the files, it remains the same. And that's all there is to chown.